what's up guys sorrow gamer here with how to bypass the HDCP now let's make this a quick tutorial so that you can get back to doing what you have to do and order what you have to order now right then in here guys this is just a $20 method this is not a $70 method some methods say HDMI to DVI DVI converter to HDMI and then you have a soundboard for your sound that's too much work and that's too many uh items actually just to run 1080p waste of time right exactly so uh, this is like I said this is a $20 method so let's right, get right into it okay so as you see Avermedia media right here uh, 1080p resolution up oh, so let's click it da, 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 da. okay so you see it's running right no HDCP or at all so the reason why I have the swell. This is an HDMI splitter. This is what you will need. You can get this on Amazon for about $18 and like 62 cents. If you have Amazon Prime, free two-day shipping, so you don't pay shipping and handling. You can get HDMI cables for like a dollar and thirty cents on Amazon as well. Um, so I use Amazon for everything. So let's get right into it. See this cord right here? So from PS3 to Swell. Swell to Amber Media. Even media to TV. And right then and there, guys, that's your method. See that? That's how easy it was. Now, I know somebody's going to ask me, Sorrow Gamer, why do you have two HDMI, come, two HDMI ports coming out the outs? Now, this is why. PS3 to Swell, right? Swell out one to extra TV. Swell out two to Aver Media. Aver Media out to main TV. Now, I know it's a kind of a bit confusing, but the reason I do this is this. What if you're playing the game, right? You're into a good match, and somehow, some way, your little brother, sister, mother, father, cousin, sister-in-law, doesn't matter who they are, or even you, hit the HDMI. Boom. Right? Oh my goodness, it's off. And look what happens. This is exactly what happens. Your screen will go blank. You know why? Because the AMV has no power to end up running so then video source go off but check this out it's still running see that because I have an HDMI split to the TV and that's the method I recommend so let's say for instance you don't have an extra TV you actually don't need an extra TV you can actually do from PS3 to swell swell HDMI to TV second out to Aver Media. Right then and there, I can take this out if I want. This is just going to unplug the second TV. So right then and here, this is why it works. Even if the even if the Aver Media cut off, the swell will still broadcast my TV with no lag. Now check this out. Let me put the Aver Media back up real quick for you. And now you see it's low enough, right? Blink, 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 blink. Okay. Uh, let's get it running. You don't need an HDMI out. You really, you really don't need it. I'm telling you. Because see, check this out. If you want to check out how your quality look, it's right there. So, that is the reason why I do that. Now, the reason I have mine hooked up just like this is for a specific reason. And I'm trying to get this back in with one hand. Cool. Now, the reason I have it hooked up with two monitors because sometimes when people come over, we play on multiple monitors. Or we do some like LAN play and we have it split from up to downstairs. Things like that. And also because I use my second TV for uh, extra screen for my computer so that is basically why sometimes I will actually uh, I will actually do that see that so guys that's how easy this method is just buy the swell HDMI splitter link will be below on how where to buy it from on the price and everything my method also will be below on you know certain things and yes I know some people are saying well can I do full 1080p so and I will show you after it loads up, so as you see right here, check this out 1080p. See that? So basically, you get a full 1080p, and I'll show you through the Aver Media right then and there. See that? So you get that method pretty easy, man. But the reason why I leave mine on 720p is because most, most companies put that game in 720p, and there's no point of forcing it in 1080p because it's not going to end up looking right. But but if the game is in 1080p, record it in 1080p. But if it's 720p, record in 720p through the HDMI. You want to know why? 
because it is much sharper than using component. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like this video. For any tech questions, please comment below. And I will have different setups that you can use as well, such as how to record with a mic using an SD card with the Avermedia. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.